Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. Today I'm going to share with you guys an easy and beautiful Christmas DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I'm going to be using these wooden trees that I got from Dollar General and I found it this year and I always love to show you guys the item number just in case if you guys need it. So the first thing, I just want to use this Waverly paint on color moss to paint it and I craft a baby wipe this time because I see a few friends that they say that it's wonderful and amazing technique to use like a baby wipe and the same time you know like when I was painting it with the same baby wipe I kind of remove a little bit of the paint so we can see a little bit of the wood and I just did one coat and I just repeat the same step with the other three pieces and I just let it dry completely and first I was thinking just to put the trees together because you guys can see like you can place the two pieces and it will form like a tree but my base it was kind of smaller so on the end I did another tink and I think it turned out really beautiful so for the base I just grabbed this piece of wood that I have just on hand and I just covered the holes with a little bit of the speckling because they had like two holes in once I placed these wooden snowmans I know for sure they're gonna, gonna have that gap I just grabbed four pieces of these wood snowmans and I was so happy to find it at my Dollar Tree because I saw a few videos from a talented friends that they showed, you know, like Dollar Tree haul and all that fun stuff that they do. And I never found this snowman, so it was amazing to find it this year. To glue them, I just used a little bit of the wood glue and hot glue. And I think it's just way better just to use wood glue, you know. But, you know, I'm always in the rush and I couldn't wait to dry all the way, you know. So that's why I just use a little bit of the hot glue. So I can hold it just in place. I'm going to be using the rust paint on color white to paint it. And I always mention to you guys, like, I'm always just giving you an idea. And you guys can paint your project of the color of your preference. I just went with the basic color because you cannot go wrong you know so I just did one coat and I just let it dry really well The next thing that I'm using for pieces of the Jenga blocks and I went over with the same Waverly on color mask to paint it and I just used the same baby wipe. It still had a little bit of the paint. I'm going to be using these four pieces. It's going to be kind of like the support for the trees and I will show you in a minute. And once they were completely dry, I just put it on the top of the base and I just use a little bit of the hot glue so it can hold it in place into the wood glue. It dries completely. And you guys can see how I place the four pieces. I kind of put one on the back and the other one on the front. I think you guys can have an idea how I place them. And I just used the hot glue to glue the trees. But I'm like, why I didn't use the wood glue, you know, so they can have like a permanent hole, you know. So first, I just put the bigger tree and the other one, like the smaller one, in the back again with the, it was the smaller one or bigger one. I'm not sure, you know, but I will show you how many. And it was really simple and easy project to create if it bothers you the line that I had the tree you guys can cover with a little bit of the speckling but 
I think it gives a lot of detail to the trees. I really like it, you know, so it doesn't bother me the lines. I just put a few pieces of the red berries and it turned really beautiful this project. And like on the back, you guys can see the pieces of the jingle blocks. It's just perfect, you know, because it's, it seems like it's part of the trees. I just love it, you know. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about our first project? For the next project, I'm going to reuse a piece of wood that I have, but don't worry, you guys can create this adorable snowman with a few pieces of the jingle blocks. So to paint it, we're using the Ristolin paint on color white. I'm going to grab a piece of this crafter square fabric that I got at my Dollar Tree, and I'm not sure if I got it last year or this year. I just found it on my stash, and I'm like, it's the perfect fabric to recreate the hat of the snowman so I just cut a piece and I just glue it on the top of the wood piece and I just grab a piece of this white yarn that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a piece and I just wrap it around so it can tie really well on the top and also to give the shape of a hat you know and the other thing that I decide on the top of the fabric I decide to use my scissor just to cut it so it can have like kind of messy bones on the top and a little bit of the detail on the top I don't know how to call it you know but I'm pretty sure you guys can have an idea what I did on the top of the hat of the snowman And to paint the eyes and also to give the details of the mouth, I'm using the Craft Wise Chalkboard Paint on Color Ink. And this tool that I got from Dollar Tree, and it was just perfect because the tip of the little tool, it's kind of like a round thing. So I just put a little bit of the paint and also I did that eyebrow and the nose. And for the nose, I just used the Deco Art on color orange. I was afraid to do this adorable project because I'm not really good at painting or drawing. It was so easy to create this adorable snowman that I'm pretty sure you guys can recreate it. And also I grabbed a piece of the ribbon so we can give like the detail of the scarf you know because it was missing a scarf this snowman. So I just cut a piece and I just glued the pieces together and to put the buttons I grabbed this a small white pom-poms and I just placed three of them but I didn't like it because you can see right now in the video it doesn't show really well you know I just decided to paint it so it can pop a little bit more and I create another simple bow and I place it on the top of the bow I also grabbed this beautiful green button and it turned out adorable and you guys can place like a piece of your toy so you guys can hang this adorable snowman on your tree or you guys can just leave it how it is right now and just place it for a tear tray let me know what you guys think For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this contact paper that I got from Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find it at your Dollar Tree, but like I always mention, at my Dollar Tree, sometimes they're really hard to find all the good things that they have, you know? So I just grab this beautiful ornament that I found at my Dollar General, and I just removed the tag, and I grab 
one piece of cardboard and I just kind of make it to the shape of the ornament and I just cut it and also I grab a piece of the contact paper and I'm going to place it just on the top and I just went over to smooth a little bit the contact paper so it won't have wrinkles or bubbles you know but it was a small piece you know so it was easy to place it you know on the piece of cardboard and also I just kind of with my scissor remove a little bit on the side because the contact paper it was a little bit bigger but it was a simple fix and also I didn't like it on the edges that you guys can see we use a piece of cardboard so to fix that I just grab a piece of the jute twine and I just wrap all around the circle you know and it turned out amazing you know because it gives this effect that uh, we just use kind of like a wood or something you know but it didn't show that we use a piece of cardboard that's that great thing that I love Once I was done, I just used that lighter just to give all the details on that piece of jute twine. And once I'm done, I'm just going to use a little bit of the hot glue to glue it. I create just a simple bow made of this red raffia that I got from Dollar Tree and I just place it on the middle and it gives so much detail with this beautiful bow. I just love it. I'm going to be using these stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I just spelled the word joy and I just place it but I think it's way better to use a little bit of the Mod Patch so it can hold way better you know and I didn't use it. I totally forgot you know so once we're done this is how adorable it turns out this ornament I just love it but please let me know in the comments down below For the next DIY, I'm gonna create a ladder. So I just cut four pieces of wood and measured six inches. And the bigger one, they measured 21 inches. And the bigger ones, I didn't cut them, you know. And I grabbed a piece of this sandpaper just to sand the piece of wood really well. And once I was done, I grabbed a pencil and I kind of like make a line so I can guide from those lines to make a hole with the drill because I decide to reinforce it way better so I can put a screw you know I just use a little bit of the wood glue and I just place it in First, I kind of like went over, you know, like, oh, let me put all the four pieces, you know, the small ones, and I will put the screws, but uh, it was kind of hard, you know, and I will show you in a minute that I found a way easy how to create it, you know, because I create two small ladders. So here's where I show you that I just put the screw, but can you guys see like it was falling apart already, you know, because I didn't use hot glue just to hold it a little bit, you know, the pieces. So here's where I show you like it's way better to put all the screws. I think this is the second ladder that I create and I'm like it's way easy to do it this way you know. But like I say you guys can use a little bit of the hot glue so it can hold it you know just that piece of wood you know into you put the screws if you guys want to put the screws you know. So once I was done creating my ladder, I want to use a little bit of this Waverly Anti-Wax. I just grab a small piece of this bat sponge and I just paint the wood, you know. I want to distress it a little bit so once I put the other color on the top, it will show this 
color anti-wax under i'm thinking right now too you guys can do it opposite way too you know like paint it color white and distress it a little bit with the anti-wax you guys can do that too you know or you guys can paint it like black or green or red there's so many colors that you guys can paint this beautiful letter So here is where my ladder is completely dry. So I went over and used that Rust-Oleum paint on color white. And I didn't want to paint it all the way white because like I mentioned, I want the color anti-wax to show a little bit. That was the whole reason to do the color under, you know. I just painted really well and I just let it dry my ladder. It was really simple and easy to create this project. And I forgot to mention like where did I got those piece of wood? I got it from Dollar Jenner and they were like 99 cents or a dollar a piece the next thing I'm gonna be using these reforms that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just using the small ones that they come to in a pack I use the two reef like I mentioned you know I create two letters and I grab this greenery and I just cut it so I can have just the peaks you know like so we can put it all around the reef. I grab a few pieces of that zip tights and it holds amazing, you know? You guys can use hot glue to glue them, you know, or floral wire. Once I was done, I just got my scissor and I just cut the remain piece of the zip tight. The next thing we're using these red berries that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut just a few pieces so we can place it on the top of the reef and it turned out really beautiful this reef I just love it if you guys want to it can match a little bit more with the Christmas theme and everything you know I'm thinking right now it will look really amazing to you know to use a little bit of the paint and kind of like give this a snow effect to the greenery I think it will look amazing the reef but I didn't do it because I will remove you know those red berries and reuse my reef you know for summer I'm gonna be using this Christmas ornament that I got from Dollar General. It's really beautiful, the tag. I didn't even glue the brief, you know, because with the same piece of that hanger that I had that small tag, you know, it was just perfect to wrap it around. And I just used a little bit of the hot glue to secure really well the remaining piece of the jute twine. Also, you guys can just use like a small hanger you know and place it on the middle and you guys can just remove the reef or you guys can just put something else you know on the ladder there's so many options so this is how it looks our project once we're done it turned out amazing this ladder i love it and especially the tag but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this other project
the next project, I'm gonna grab four pieces and to paint it, we're gonna be using the Waverly Anti-Wax. I just used a piece of this bad sponge that I got from Dollar Tree and I did one coat and I just let it dry. I just grabbed four pieces of this tissue paper wrap that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut four pieces and I did first one coat on my patch and I just placed the tissue paper and once I was done I did another coat on the top so we can seal really well the tissue paper and once they're completely dry you guys can see on the edges it still has a little bit of the tissue paper and for that it's really simple I just grab a piece of the sandpaper and I just remove Remove the extra paper. I just grabbed a small piece of this diamond wrap that I got from Dollar Tree and to distress it a little bit more, I just used the Ristolian paint on color white. And the last thing that I grab, one piece of this jute twine and I just place it on the top so it can have a hanger so we can hang these beautiful ornaments. And that was the only thing that I did. They turned out really beautiful. I love it. But please let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think about these other ornaments? For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this other contact paper and I just love it. It looks beautiful and also I grabbed this piece of wood made of triangle. We're going to create a Christmas tree and I just cut one piece of the contact paper to place it on one side and the thing that I regret once again I didn't use the Mod Podge you know I just placed the contact paper and I just kind of like smooth any wrinkles or bubbles you know And once I place it, I decide to grab this other chef liner that I grabbed from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut a piece to the side of the wood. And I just cut two pieces and I just kind of like make it a little bit thick, you know. And I just use a little bit of the hot glue to glue it. And be careful when you're using the hot glue. Just use a little bit so it just can hold it, you know. And once I was done on the side, you guys can see, you know, like that shift liner, it was a little bit bigger. So with my scissors, I just cut it and it has really clean, you know, on the side. And the other thing that I decided to do, I just went over with that Waverly anti-wax to distress it on the top of the shift liner so it can pop up all those details, you know, and I just love it once I distress it. And I grabbed this ribbon that I grabbed from Dollar Tree and I just cut one piece to place it kind of like in the middle so it can cover where it had like this line with the shape liner because I didn't like it, you know. So I just used a little bit of the hot glue to glue it on the top and I create just a simple bow made of this burlap and I just place one button in the middle and I just place it with a little bit of the hot glue in the middle and that's the only thing that I did. I'm gonna grab this napkin ring that I had on hand for a really long time but you guys can use this wood round pieces and you guys can just place it on the bottom it's gonna be like the base of the tree and I just use a little bit of the hot glue to glue it but I think it's way better to use E6000 so it can have a permanent hole you know and the other side I just love the design that I decided to grab just a few pieces of the painter's tape to cover the design and I used the Ristolian paint to paint it, you know, inside and on the edges. And also I paint the napkin ring because it's kind of like beige and I didn't like it. I'm like, let's just paint it.
And once it's completely dry, I went over with the Waverly Anti-Wax just to distress it, especially on the napkin ring so it can pop, you know, all the details that it had, you know. I just love it once I distress it. I'm going to be using these Christmas picks that I got from Ross and it costs only $3.99. I just used a little bit of the Rust-Oleum paint to give this a snow effect and I just place it and it looks amazing. And also on the other side, I grab another Christmas pick and I just glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. I just love it so much how it turns out this two side project. If I have to pick a favorite, this one and the first one, they were my favorite. But please let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys have a favorite? For the next DIY, I'm gonna create a window. And for that, I just grab a piece of wood that I have on hand. But you guys can recreate this window using a few signs from Dollar Tree. You guys can grab like two pieces and I'm pretty sure you guys can recreate the same project that I create. And to paint it, I'm gonna be using the rust paint on color white. You guys can use any paint of your preference and I think it will look amazing. So I just did one coat and I just put it to a side and let it dry really well. The next thing we're using a color pencil on color brown. So I'm gonna create these chip look lines that I love to create on my projects. And for that, I just went over with my color pencil. I traced my lines twice or three times. So my sign, it was really big. So I just kind of create the lines on the top and I create the lines on the bottom and I just connect them, you know? And I grab a piece of paper and I just went over and distress the lines a little bit. And that's the only thing that I did that turned out amazing the lines. The next thing, we're gonna grab a few pieces of these woods that I had and I just cut it to the side of the sign and you guys can see I have two long ones and the mediums and three small ones and they were already on color white but on the side I just painted and I just paint all the pieces with the same paint I didn't distress anything can you guys believe it you know i just want to color white so i just put it all the pieces to a side and i just let it dry really well and once they were dry i just kind of like put it on the side you know to form the window i'm gonna be using wood glue with a little bit of the hot glue so it can have a permanent hold and i just put the pieces on the side and you guys can see i kind of like glue them on the top of the side so they can have like a support you know and I just put the ones on the side and also on the bottom and once I was done I move on with the three pieces if you guys have like a stapler you guys can just put a few staplers on the back or kind of like a small nails too I think so they can be a little bit sturdy that's sign you know I just used my stapler it was the first time that I used it so I'm like it was horrible how I put them in the back and the end they turned out amazing and I kind of paint the sign on the back and I will show you at the end you know how bad they look you know The 
the next thing we're gonna grab these Christmas picks that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a few pieces because I'm gonna put all the picks together and I'm gonna secure all the pieces with a zip tie and I kind of tried to make it even so when I was placing I'm like eh, it's missing one pick on the other side it looks so uneven I didn't want to tie it all the way you know because that's when I realized I'm like on the other side it looks like we just have a few berries and so with the remaining piece of the zip tie I just cut it The next thing we're gonna grab this picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree and it looks adorable already so I was thinking I'm like, it's just the perfect you know to place it on the middle of my window and I just kind of like glue it on the back too so it won't move you know and I grab my Christmas pick that I create and I just place it on the top it was so easy and beautiful the window i just love it and you guys can paint it at any color and i think it will look amazing too i placed just a piece of that nautical rope on the back so we can hang it and can you guys see like kind of the staplers you know they're all over you know on the back but it was fun and easy project to create and they're super easy and i think it will look amazing in your house but please let me know in the comments down below For the next project, I'm gonna grab this crafter square wooden slate that I got from Dollar Tree. It's really beautiful and especially because it's just wood and we can paint it at any color that we want to, you know. I just went with that rust paint on color white to paint it. I did one coat and I just put it to a side and let it dry really well. And once it was completely dry, I decided to distress it a little bit with the Waverly anti wax and I just kind of like went over and all that detail that I had, you know, and it turned out amazing once I distress it. The next thing, I'm going to grab this beautiful contact paper that I have for a really long time and I got it from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut just a small piece of this beautiful design. I wanna do my best to cut it the closest I can to that beautiful design. And once I cut this design, I'm gonna be placing it on the top and I just peel the backing of the paper. And I totally forgot again, you know, to use a little bit of the Mod Podge and I think it's way better, you know, so it can has like a permanent hold and you guys can do another coat on Mod Podge on the top. And I just kind of went and smooth a little bit so I won't have any wrinkles or bubbles, you know. And I create just a simple bow and I place it on the top with a little bit of the hot glue. And I grab just a few pieces of these Christmas picks and I just place it. It was missing something else. It was too simple just with the bow, you know. And I just grab 
these other beautiful silver berries and they have like wire you know on the back so i just kind of bend it all together and place it on the top of the bow i'm gonna show you how it looks you know once i place it here's the part where i place it and i just cut the tails of the ribbon if you guys want to you guys can just leave it how it is and i think it looks amazing but i decide to do something else here's the second option i just grab a little bit of that rustoleum paint i want to give this a snow effect to the greenery because i just love it you know the effect and i just went over you know and used a little bit of the paint and i like it way better the second option than the first one but i always want to bring something different just in case if you guys don't like to do this step let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a favorite for this project For the next DIY, I'm gonna use 10 pieces of the Jingle Blacks and we're gonna create this beautiful Christmas tree. This Christmas tree, it was my favorite that I created so far. So first, let's glue all the pieces together and I just wanna show you how I glue all the pieces together first so you guys can have an idea how I glue all the pieces. I'm gonna reuse this piece of wood that I have, but you guys can create this base with a few pieces of the Jingle Blacks, and I'm just gonna glue that tree on the top. And to reinforce it way better, I grab one wood cube and place it on the back, and it worked amazing because it holds really well with a piece of the wood cube on the back. And to paint it, we're using the rust paint on color white. I decide to wet my brush a little bit so we can give this white wash to the jingle blocks and I love it because I didn't want to cover them all the way with the paint. I also paint the base and also on the back so it has a finished look and I just let it dry. I'm going to be using this shelf liner that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut just a piece and I decide to use a pencil and trace it so we can cut it and it's more easy because we just gonna glue it on the top you know but you guys can glue it first and you guys can cut it on the end I think it will work perfect you know I just glue it with a little bit of the hot glue and it holds amazing you know because I want a permanent hold but I think it will work fine to to use like mud patch if you guys want to I decide to use a little bit of the Waverly anti wax You guys can see all the details of the shelf liner. It's amazing, you know. And once we distress it a little bit with the anti wax I decide to do the same thing on the base and also on the edges of the Jingle Blacks. And 
and I create just a simple bow made of the raffia red. It's really beautiful. They come all the three different colors in a pack and I got it. I'm not sure if last year and also I grabbed these red berries and I create another simple and easy bow and I place it on the top and this is how it looks. This beautiful Christmas tree and you guys can create like a smaller ones or bigger one. I think it will look really beautiful to have it in different sizes you know this beautiful christmas tree but please let me know what you guys think For the next project, I'm going to reuse these small jars that I got from these yogurts that they were really yummy, you know. I just removed the labels and I just clean it really well. I'm going to be grabbing these stickers that I found on my Dollar Tree and it gives this effect that they're like these half wood beads but they're just like stickers. So I'm going to grab a few pieces and I'm going to placing it all around of the jar and I decide to use a little bit of the hot glue so they can have a permanent hole but right now I'm thinking I think it's way better to use E6000 you know And once I'm done, I decide to use a little bit of that rust paint to paint it. And I just did one coat. And this part, you guys can choose that color of your preference to paint the jar. And once I paint it, I decide to put it to a side and let it dry really well. I'm going to be using this other beautiful contact paper that I got from Dollar Tree and I had it for a really long time and I didn't know what to do with this contact paper. I really love all the details of these beautiful flowers. I just cut a few pieces and I did the same thing, you know, like I just went the closest I can to that beautiful design, you know, and I just put it to a side and let's go back again with the small jar. Once it's completely dry, I decide to distress it a little bit with the antique wax so it can pop all the details that we just put it all around of the jar. And I just distress it into my eyes. They were happy, you know, of the way that it looks, the jar. And once I'm done, I went over and put this beautiful design of the contact paper and I just place it. And like I mentioned, you know, if you guys want a permanent hole, use a little bit of the matte patch. And also I grab a piece of the jute twine and I just kind of like I wrap it all around of the jar and I just tie it really well on the middle and I create with the same piece of the jute twine just a simple bow. And also I just use a little bit of the hot glue so I can hold it on place so it won't move. I'm going to be using these beautiful Christmas picks that I got from Dollar Tree. They're really beautiful. I'm going to cut just a few picks to place it inside of the jar and it gives so much detail. The other thing that I did, I create another simple bow made of that red raffia and I place it on the top. It was missing something else. I didn't like it, how plain it looks, you know, and with the red raffia bow, it gives so much detail and it's way better. I just love it. And let me show you how beautiful it looks, you know, on the top of this wood rays that I create on my channel. It just perfect, you know, because how the jar and the wood rays, they blend all together. I just love it. Let me show you. And this is how it looks, you know. But please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this adorable jar?
for the next project i'm gonna be using a piece of wood that i had and it had a few holes all around the piece of wood i just grabbed a little bit of the spackling and i just covered those holes and to paint it we're using the deco art acrylic paint on color red and i just did one coat and i just let it dry and i just want to mention if you guys don't have the same piece of wood you guys can grab a few pieces of the jingle blocks and you guys can create this simple and easy project we're gonna create a santa it turned out really adorable so the next thing i just gonna grab this white yarn that i got from dollar tree i just put it between my fingers and i just wrap it a few times and i grab another extra piece of that yarn and i just tie it really well and once we're done creating this tassel we're gonna glue it on the top of that wood piece and it's completely dry okay and i just glue it on the top it's gonna be like of the beard of the santa you know but you guys can create it a different way and i grab this piece of fabric that i show you that i got it from dollar tree and i cut another piece so we can create the hat for the santa so i just glue it on the top of the wood piece and i grab another piece of the yarn and i just wrap it around of the top of the fabric and also we're gonna cut the pieces of the top so it can give all the detail of the hat you know how we did it with that snowman and you guys can use like any fabric of your choice you know i just found this on my stash i was looking for something else you know so it can have like the snowman and the santa like kind of different hats i'm gonna give the shape of the beard to the santa i was not really good at that you know i'm pretty sure you guys can create the beer way better than i did you know for me i'm like i think it's way better just to create just a tassel you know And for the nose, you guys can just grab one red berry. I think it will look perfect. But I decided to grab this wood bead and I just place it on the top. It was already on the color. And it comes in a pack of few colors from wood beads from Dollar Tree. And for the feet, I just cut a piece of the cardboard. And I just keep the shape of the feet. And I just glue it on the bottom. And I create another simple bow. And also, the last thing that I did, I just grab that raffia and I just create another simple bow and I decide to use that beautiful green button and place it on the top of the raffia and that's the only thing that I did for this adorable Santa I just love it so much and you guys can grab just a piece of jute twine and place it on the back and you guys can use this adorable ornament for your Christmas tree For the next DIY, I'm gonna grab four pieces of the jingle blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. We're gonna create a small frame and I'm just gonna use my glue gun to glue all the pieces together. And once I glue all my pieces together, it's time to paint it. And for that, I'm using the Craft Wise chalkboard paint on color ink. This paint, I got it at my Dollar Tree. But if you guys don't have the same paint, you guys can use any paint of your preference and I just did one coat and I just put it to a size so it can dry completely The next thing, we're going to reuse a piece of cardboard that I have. I just remove it from a back of the picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree. And it was just perfect because it was already on color black. But if you guys want to, you guys can paint it. And I just put the small frame on the top and I just trace it and I just cut it to the side that I need. And I'm just going to glue it on the back. And once I glue it, you guys can put anything inside you guys can grab like a few pieces of the red berries white berries or any sticker or you guys can use like these snow stickers that Dollar Tree has of the wood pieces there's so many options you guys can use 
to put inside. I want to give you the first option. I just place a sticker inside and also I decide to paint on the back because my eyes were not happy to see the cardboard on the back. I'm like let me use the same paint and once I paint it it was just perfect. You can even see it would use a piece of cardboard on the back and also I grab a piece of sandpaper to distress it a little bit on the edges and it turned out amazing once I distress it because you can see the wood under and you guys know me that I love to distress all my pieces and here it comes the second option that I have I just grab these red berries and I just grab a few of those red berries and I glue it and I create just a simple bowl and place it on the top and to give that snow effect to the berries I just use the Rust-Oleum paint and it turned out really a Adorable. I love the second option way better than the first one. But like I said, you guys have so many options. If you guys want to, you guys can put a piece of jute twine on the back and you guys can place it on your Christmas tree. Or the other option that you guys have, you can place this adorable ornament for a two tray. I think it will look beautiful. But please let me know what you guys think. For the next project, we're going to be using four pieces and to paint it, we're going to be using the rust chalk paint on color white. I got this paint from Walmart and I just did one coat and I just put it to a side and let it dry really well. The next thing, we're going to be using these sticker letters that I got also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be spelling the word joy and I first did one coat on my patch and I just placed the stickers and once I was done I just did another coat to seal really well the stickers on the top. I'm going to be using a piece of this white jute twine and I just cut a small piece to place it on the back so we can hang these adorable ornaments and the last thing that I use it's one piece of these red berries that I got from Dollar Tree and I just put one on the top and to give this snow effect to the top of the berry I just use a little bit of the white paint and that's the only thing that I did for this adorable ornament they look so beautiful but please let me know what you guys think For the next project, I just grab five pieces of the Jingle Blocks and I just glue all the pieces together. We're going to create another beautiful ornament and you guys can see how I glue the pieces together. And to paint it, we're going to go over with the rust paint, but you guys can use any paint of your preference and I think it will look beautiful this ornament that we're going to create. I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And I just want to show you, I just have these stickers on hand and I'm going to grab this beautiful sticker and I just use a little bit of the hot glue so it can hold it way better. And I grab another sticker to place it on the other side. So I just want to show you this adorable ornament to set project so you guys can have a little bit more options. And to distress it on the edges, I went over with the Waverly Anti-Wax. My eyes they were not happy just with all the white you know so I'm like let me distress it a little bit it gives so much detail on the edges and also I create just a simple bow and I just place it on one side and I'm like let me grab just a few pieces of the red berries you know like just to keep more detail you know and it was just perfect I just love it this two side project you guys can place a piece of jute twine also on the back so you guys can hang this adorable ornament or you guys can just leave it with two side project and it's just perfect for a two tray let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a favor for this two side project
For the last project, we're gonna be using four pieces of the jingle blocks and I'm just gonna create another adorable ornament. I wanna show you in a minute the difference between the first one and this other one, how I glue the pieces because the first one, it's a little bit smaller, the frame, and this one, it's a little bit bigger. Can you guys see the difference? And to paint it, we're gonna be using that Waverly paint on color mask and this paint I got it at Walmart but you guys can use any paint that you guys have on hand I just did one coat and I just let it dry really well and also I just grabbed another piece of the cardboard and I just trace it to the side of the small frame and I just glue it on the back and once I glue it I'm gonna be using this sticker that I had you guys can use anything to put inside or you guys can even put like any words that you guys want to and to paint it on the back I used the same paint because I didn't like it you can see that we use a piece of cardboard you know and also I decided to distress it a little bit more it turns out really beautiful my pieces once I distress it like I always mention if you guys don't love to distress your pieces you guys can skip this step and I want to show you a second option I grab this other sticker and I just place it in the middle but this time I'm gonna use a little bit of the hot glue so it can hold it way better and I create just a simple bow and I place it on the top of the ornament and I grab a few pieces of the red berries and I place it on the top of the bow and to give the effect of the snow I just grab a little bit of the Rustoleum paint. I love we better the second option because it has more detail inside and you guys can grab just a piece of jute twine and place it on the back and you guys can use this adorable ornament for your christmas tree or just leave it how it is and i think it will just be perfect for a tree tray but please let me know in the comments down below with all the projects that i create for you guys today which one it was your favorite so that was it for today's video thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that i love new video and please don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook and tiktok thank you so much and have an amazing day